Like, what is it? I mean, what makes it different than the traditional? Typically, in the range of 10 to 15%. So it's a meaningful enhancement. Powered ignition on, a built-in timing light lights up. We blow the map tube twice, ignitions are timed. We did a fabrication, we did the assembly, so our fingerprints are all over it from beginning to end. Hey guys, what's up? I'm at Sun and Fun, and it is a beautiful Saturday morning with Brad at EMAG booth, and we're gonna hear what they have to offer, a little bit about them, and what's new, really, what's uh, in the, just the last few months. They have some new things, so we're gonna dive right into it. My name is Brad Dement. I'm uh, one of the owners of uh, EMAG Ignitions. Uh, my partner, Tom Carlson, and I, started the company 20 years ago. So this is our 20th anniversary uh, celebration. All right. And so we're quite uh, tickled to have uh, been in the industry that, for that awesome. length of time and and uh, having a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, well congratulations, 20 years. Thank you, yeah, yeah. That, in this industry, that, that's, that's, quite a, that's quite a mark. A big milestone, awesome. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the, uh, the EMAG, like what is it? I mean, what makes it different than the traditional you know, magneto, sure, index, sure. or slick. The evolution of ignitions in some context. We need to go back and first acknowledge and recognize that what magnetos have done for many, many years, many years, uh, is quite valuable. They, they, uh, magnetos have one particular characteristic that's exceptionally valuable for aviation. Uh, they self-power. Uh, that property alone is what's uh, kept them in uh, popular use in aviation for uh, many, many years. Uh, the aircraft bus can go away for several reasons, but if the ignition is self-powering, you're immune to that. Uh, electronic ignitions, on the other hand, do things that the magnetos do not. Electronic ignition will offer uh, high energy spark and uh, can offer variable timing. Those two properties alone uh, will do some uh, wonderful things for engine behavior, engine efficiency. Mm -hmm. As a metric to, uh, to quantify that, for example, uh, your fuel consumption and cruise with those two properties uh, employed, uh, you can improve your cruise fuel consumption typically in the range of 10 to 15 percent. So it's a meaningful enhancement. Electronic ignitions can also improve uh, the uh, improvement over the mags is that we mechanically much, much simpler. A mechanical, traditional mechanical magneto has a, a, a number of mechanical wear and tear parts. Uh, in our case, we've eliminated the points, distributor, distributor gear, all those mechanical wear parts go away. We have one principal uh, a mechanical op operating part in our four cylinder ignition. It's just two bearings and an oil seal. Okay. So mechanically, it's much simpler. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, uh, has the variable timing, has an energy spark, but most importantly, the key thing that magnetos do, self-powering, we do as well. Mm -hmm. Our ignitions have a built-in three-phase permanent magnet alternator embedded in the nose of the ignition. Okay. So like a magneto, we can self-power. Yep. Better yet, we also have a connection to the aircraft bus, so we have redundant power. We have a backup. Okay. So with two sources of operating power, we have the advantages of the magneto. With variable timing and high energy spark, we have the advantages of electronic ignition. So we have we have it both ways. It's not a compromise solution because of the power supply. Uh, we typically install on both sides, not one side, so that you'll have one electronic and keep a magneto because it will self power. In our case, we can deploy on both sides. Okay. Right. Our built in power supply weighs about three ounces and it's all built in. There's no, uh, nothing extraneous, no external generators or external batteries to install, wire, and maintain. It's, okay. uh, it's all built in and it works automatically inside the uh, the unit. It's a single module, the magneto comes out, our unit goes in. There's a couple of other attachments, but that's about it. So for the, the viewer or somebody in the past has said, you know, if it isn't broke, why fix it, right? You've probably heard that, maybe heard that before. So It's familiar. Yes, yeah, so, <laughs> so what I'm gathering is efficiency in timing, variable timing is something that obviously that's a number one um, indicator of improvement. Well, it, it, it's, it's, it's not a subtle change. When you put the electronic condition on, uh, several things will change. Uh, your starting procedure changes, starting gets easier. Mm -hmm. We do multi-strike firing during startup. A magneto impulse mechanism, for example, when yep. an impulse uh, mechanism starts, it, it accelerates magneto by, a, by way of a spring. And when it releases, it throws one spark to one plug in one cylinder. 
all of, our, all of our ignition is starting ignition, so all of them will throw five long reed strikes to every plug and every cylinder. Okay. And so starting is dramatically easier. Fuel injected hot start problems go away. Okay. Uh, uh, that's just an, another aspect of the same thing. There's two principles, variable time, and high energy spark and variable timing. Mm -hmm. And those, those improvements manifest at startup. They manifest at okay. idling. They manifest at taxing smoother. They manifest at power. They manifest at cruise. It, it affects uh, operations across yeah, the board. Start all the way through. And this is not, this isn't new cutting edge technology. Yeah. This is settled science. This has been common standard operating for piston car engines for decades. Yeah. However, doing it in an aviation appropriate fashion is not trivial. So uh, our focus has been to do a ground up custom in-house design. Thanks to my partner, no credit to me, Tom mm -hmm. does all the heavy lifting. Okay. Uh, we've designed an in-house design that we uh, operates our system. It's our, our, we build the boards, we build the electronics, we do the design, we do the fabrication, we do the assembly, so our fingerprints are all over it from beginning to end. Okay. And it solves a, uh, a uh, particularly sticky problem in the case of electronic ignition because it's space constrained, it's mm -hmm. temperature constrained, it's a, it's, a, it's a harsh environment we've designed for that. But first and foremost, we design it so that it will self-power. Well, I appreciate the info. So let's, we're gonna talk about what is new. I, I personally don't know, but I heard they have something new since last Oshkosh, which would be 2022. So uh, okay. what, what are you guys uh, up to, I guess, for okay. the new? Well, we're now uh, ramping up production on our six cylinder series. We have six cylinder Continental and Lycoming uh, style ignitions based on the same platform okay. operationally, but now that that's that's scaling ramping up So we're starting to ship those in some numbers now. Okay new to the platform is uh, we've been doing the four-cylinder uh, uh, Platform and refining and evolving that for 20 years uh, We're just now building up our first dual mag Okay. There's a number of uh, engines out there that uh, in Cardinals and Moonies. Now we're in the experimental market at this point, but we'll be moving into certifieds. Yeah. But the uh, there's a desperate need for a competent, uh, capable uh, replacement for the Bendix mags that were out there in yeah, the like the Piper Dakota. Exactly. Like that, they have a single okay. mag pad and yeah, a dual a, ignition. Well, we have electrified our four cylinder that we have 20 years of history with, mm -hmm. and we've implemented in a dual. So okay. we're now displaying. A, our dual package. This would be our dual four, like the others. It's two discrete, autonomous, electrically autonomous left and right ignitions on a common housing. Each one has its own dedicated power backup. Each one has its own connection to the aircraft power, uh, but in a okay. single module, so that we can be a replacement for that that okay. uh, that dual mag. All right, the old Bendix that they have. One thing about them, they're huge and cumbersome. They're hard to get back there and and get you know into the accessory case and where it needs to be as far as timing. The Bendix dual mags are no longer in production. Yeah. So they have to get overhauled. So basically the timing factor, not only is this one smaller, I want to hear about the timing. How would oh, this yeah. be timed? Oh, that's the, the, probably the, one of the most uh, talked about popular features of our, of our system. In our, the fours we've been producing for years, uh, the, the timing is dirt dog simple. Mm -hmm. uh, you can plug two ignitions in uh, and park with any attitude you like. Park the prop at top dead center, typically. Yeah. And uh, you simply disconnect the manifold tube input, power the ignition on, a built-in timing light lights up. We blow the map tube twice, both ignitions are timed. Yeah. You can time two ignitions in about 10 seconds. Yeah. See, that, that's, that's the thing that I guess that, that really, I guess, attracts me. Um, I, you know, I talked to Brad last um, Oshkosh and I was just amazed how simple that was. So um, putting it into a dual magneto and you know just the whole cumbersome process of that and then having that same timing feature is just a win-win honestly. So uh, yeah, I, I think that's an awesome thing. Oh yeah, it, uh, that far <laughs> away, that's what most people identify with. There's a lot of stress and anxiety about timing your mags or don't want to blow your timing or don't move the mag, don't move the mag. In our case, timing is downright trivial. If you yeah. want to take the mag out for inspection or take it out to do some maintenance, 
plug it back in, blowing the magnitude twice, you're done. It's uh, it's it's very simple. It's awesome. Anybody can do it. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right. Well, if anyone has any questions, definitely drop those below in the comments. But Brad, I want to thank you for your time. Oh, you're welcome. It's been great, and uh, just getting caught up, you know, what's going on, and this is pretty exciting. You bet. Magneto. Oh, we're we're and, we're so tickled. Uh, they are working on moving into certified aircraft, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, it's just a long process, but it is in the works, and it, they're getting closer. So it's worth it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Good well, deal. Thanks for watching. Again, drop any questions you might have, and until next time, be safe. Be blessed. I will see you in the next one. Later.